well? Can't sleep? Guess I'm not surprised after what we just went through. Still, you've got to keep yourself rested to be at your best. I know, I will. I wanted to tell you though, when the human attacked, I heard a strange voice. It told me my duty would be to guide you. What do you think it meant? I mean, I haven't exactly been much of a guide so far. All I told you was that we had to deliver our message, and that almost got you killed. I never expected it would be this dangerous, and it feels kind of like it's my fault. I don't really mind. That's nice of you to say. Look, I can't fight with you, but... As long as you're up against all this scary stuff, I'll try to help however I can. You've got something special, you know. I don't know what it is just yet, but I believe in you. Oh, hey, uh, you know what insomnia is good for? Catching up on reading. If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. It's just war after war here with magla arts fueling the flames. But it's a nice fantasy. Enjoy it while you can. Good night. Well, hello. Nice to meet you. I've been waiting. And now you've acquired a most interesting power. You truly are an intriguing one. In the moments where your heart is most gripped by the book, I can reach out to you. My name is Moore, and I am the humble author of the novel you've been reading. You stand now in my study. Quite something, isn't it? A hall of wisdom, purpose built for the research of certain powers. I call it Academia. Alas, it's as much a prison as it is a library. His most merciful majesty saw fit to lock me in this place. It has me a bit addled, honestly. I no longer remember where in the kingdom my study actually lies. I never imagined my voice would reach beyond these walls until you appeared. And now, by whatever strange forces are afoot, I can speak directly to your mind. So, what would you say to an alliance? This is way over my head. Understand. But suffice it to say, I'm sure it will be beneficial to you. Be more you wish to know. For instance, the nature of this fascinating power you've awakened to. I believe you have found a way to wield true magic. You need no petty conduit of mortal make. You can even change your appearance using the raw magla within. It is above all a mystic, long hidden art. Now, the stuff of legend, what I have come to call. Archetypes. Archetypes? 
A spirit of heroic virtue. A transformative power that manifests only in those who embody the heroes and kings of old in some core aspect. Heroes of antiquity are often depicted as near mythic figures with forms transcending the mortal. These accounts are no mere allegory, but truth. However, none of my records describe anyone wielding such power as freely as you. Perhaps you are meant for not just proficiency, but mastery. In their truest form, archetypes represent the power of a true hero. One who can drive away calamity and evil in this world, no matter its form. Indulge me this request, and I believe my dream may yet be possible. Together, we can restore the kingdom's ideals. I shall gladly provide you knowledge and assistance to master your newfound power. So what say you? Will you take my hand in friendship? Okay. The bargain is struck then. The scholar in search of utopia, more. Within him dwells the virtue of the seeker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Now let's see what manner of story you'll weave. meet again, I'm sure. Here's to our joined path, and the thrills that yet lie ahead. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Five days remain. All ready then? From here on, we travel in secret. If we are to get back into the capital, we'll have to do it undetected. So we'll cut through the forest, find the abandoned mine shaft in the mountain, and take the tunnel to the other side. That way they'll never see us coming, huh? Lad, you'll be our Vanya. It'll be a trial by fire, but the sooner you get used to that power, the better. Speaking of... You were talking like you know something about it. Not much. Just what I've picked up from missions in the early days. I've only heard it's a power found in those who walk a righteous path. Sounded like superstition to me, but everything's always clearer on the battlefield. Once I saw it in action, I could tell it was no fable. Never thought it'd come back to haunt me. Despite all my training and research, I never managed to master it myself. Huh. It really is something special, then. Don't forget. One wrong move, and I'll cut you down. I'm aware. I'm watching you. Yes, I get it. Just trust me, all right? Right. Let's check them out. This'll all be for nothing if we get lost. This place... That being the case... All right. <clears throat> Don't let your guard down. Good. The Nord Mines, located northwest of Grand Trad. It is resource rich with magla crystals. Its proximity to the capital simplified crystal excavation, but the Sanctus Church's sudden proclamation of closure 
stopped work in its tracks. Exiting the forest, the party continues along the wooded road leading to the derelict mine.
Thank you. Could be useful. So take it with you. Hey, right. how's that? This battle's out. I'm going to win this. One. Take this! There's no way I'm stopping here. Hopefully yeah. that's the last of them for a while. Hold on. Got a moment? It appears we must do this. I've never fought soldiers before, but I won't waver. Scour! Oh. What is that? Never seen anything like it! That's not an igniter! Take this! Oh. I'm standing! Oh. Die hard! It's our turn now! Shite! What's that? I think something's coming! Watch out! Help me! It's your turn now! Take this! Got no mercy for you! Oh, please! Sight! Charging in! Seeker! Win! Okay, I'll strive for greater heights. Don't move! 
Wait. Send a message, boy. Either we give ourselves up, or these innocents pay the price. But the only one who could know we survived, and the only one who could send soldiers after us. Oh, come on, let's move. who never went up to the fort itself, after all. It couldn't have been anyone else. Who would have thought three sorry stragglers would make it past a whole unit of assassins? Bastard! You never intended for anyone to survive. You knew the human would be there! Naturally. You heard the reports. I only put more bait on the hook. I wasn't expecting that damn thing to be rampaging already. You sent those soldiers to their deaths. Why? Because the Kingdom's Guard is powerless before the humans, and only a pile of bodies will prove that to the public. So someone wants the King's Guard disgraced. And when the people need him most, a savior rises as their shield. Is that your game? Savior? Speak plain, boy. You think he's one of Luis's men? A pitiful flock needs its shepherd. If a little blood is what it takes to show them who their real savior is, then that's a price easily paid. That's why those sons and daughters die. For your savior. <laughs> they aren't the first. The soldiers cry for reinforcements. The villagers plead to be spared. But I know better than to confront a human. A... a village? You refused. Wait, then you were the one who... Seven years ago, the first flames day of June, a village in the northern hills was razed to the ground. A village called Harlia. Hmm? Well, yes, that might have been a name. Then you made a fatal mistake, Klinger. You left one survivor! Thank <laughs> you. 
stay back! Help me! Ugh. You played right into our hands, you know. <clears throat> this was the only road without checkpoints. A simple deduction. You're a disgrace to your title. I may not make it out alive, but as for you, you're hopeless! O oh, thou who art seared with bitterness, O oh, thou anguished traveler, it is time for thou to choose thy path. O oh, Lodestar, whose light reveals the king's own path, awaken! Abandon their people and the innocent die by their scorn. If that's the real world, then it can die alongside you! <laughs> my name is Leon Stroll de Haliatus. My home and my family were taken from me. I am the last of my house, I am the last of my noble bloodline! And in the name of my people, I will strike you down where you stand! Come! I will show you a world with honor! Yours now? Well, better show him how to use it! I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'll not cave to an empty threat like that! This ignite is all I need to turn you to ash! You lot, get to it! Cover me! So he scampers off to protect himself, and his subordinates get to be his living shields. The man's showing his true colors. Fix the filthy coward with the end he deserves! The Igniter's powerful, but it takes care and calculation to wield. If you sense danger, steal your defenses and endure it. I can slash! <laughs> Let come forth, royal soul! Take this! I call upon royal power within! You'll die! A tough one! Still stand! Die! 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 You! You! Die! No holding back! I shall rise to the occasion. A new power to wield. Impossible! Ah! Never expected a commissioned officer would end up a wild-eyed zealot. How... How did I do all that? And without an igniter? Just like him? Who are you two, really? I... I'm Leon Strahl. Just a fallen noble from the countryside. Back there, Klinger mentioned a village that was raised by a human. They sent for help. 
but he abandoned them. Harlia was its name. I'm the son of its lord. And now I know what really happened. We sent our fastest riders, but we were doomed from the start. If Luis was behind it, then that's all I need to know. He's the one who will answer for it. I have my own reason to fight now. I don't want to be an ally of convenience alone, so once more, please let me join your cause. What do you say, Grius? I see keeping an eye on you was too much trouble in the first place. So you've no objections? What say you, friend? You're already one of us. Thank you. I'll remember this. Now, onward. The proud noble, Stroll. Within him dwells the virtue of the warrior. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Together we stand. Did you feel that just now? What's going on? Does it have something to do with that odd magic? Now that I think about it, once you awakened, isn't it weird that Stroll followed not long after? What does this mean? here once more. And a fairy? I thought their kind long extinct. Do they yet take refuge in the Elden Sanctum? Hey! You gonna talk to me or just at me? We meet again, my friend. Though admittedly sooner than I'd expected. Remarkably, another has awakened. What miracle is this? Yes, that same power now stirs in your companion, another of the mighty archetypes. Do you recall our discussion earlier about how archetypes are an original form of magic? Um, well, more or less. Consider this. As an elder, you are an outcast of society, yes? Your very identity is a kind of destiny you may defy but not escape. All mortals suffer under the weight of our burdens, but in facing and embracing that anxiety, you make it your innermost power. You find freedom. And so, the lives of those who overcome their hardships and embody the virtues within are passed down as heroic tales. Your companion, too, had his eyes open to his true path and claimed its virtue. That awakening is your doing, you know. He awakened to the archetype that protects you. Hey, hold on a second! Who even are you? How much do you know? I'm warning you, if you mess with him, you're gonna have to go through me! Ah, you two share quite a deep connection, don't you? Well, we didn't always. But now we're partners to the end. We're linked down to the depths of our hearts. Right? Right. We trust each other. I've got his back and he's got mine. And that's all there is to it. The mystical fairy, Gallica. Within her dwells the virtue of the mage. Nurture thy bond with her 
and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. I won't lead you astray. That's the whole reason I'm here. Hey, wasn't that... Fascinating. Do you understand what just happened? By connecting with others who have found their resolve, you awaken to new strength. And further, you and all your allies may fight with the strength of any archetype in your circle. As an example, your other companion, the fellow with the eye patch, he seems to have some training and knowledge regarding the wielding of an archetype. By his own account, nothing came of it. Yet if you so desire it, you can awaken the true power within him. What? You mean Rius could use this power too? The nature of the Seeker. No. Perhaps it is simply your own nature. You truly are remarkable. If you seek answers, then go and claim them. This right here. I didn't think I could grow it. Fascinating. This, all right? I'm counting on you. Of course. Really? New skills, new possibilities. That is... Hang 
Anakin. Adieu. That's a good kitty. Hmm? This cat is a... That's a good boy. Hi, young. To reach the lineage of power's greatest potential, you must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. After all, a hero without allies is nothing more than a lone dissenter. To save the many, you must learn to fight with the power of many. Only a champion of the people may awaken the power of heroes, and with it, seize a future of their own making. <sighs> when next you come to see me, I hope it shall be of your own volition. Open my book, then let your imagination conjure this place anew, as vividly as you can make it. As long as you walk your path, I shall faithfully watch over you. May we meet again. You two all right there? Looked as if you were in some kind of trance. Trance? Wait. Have we been here this whole time? It was strange. As if I felt something in the air. My senses sharpened near tenfold. It reminded me of my old days studying magic. So that wasn't a dream. Grius, that's probably his power. You studied back at the Sanctum, right? I know you couldn't get the hang of it then, but... I think we might have just awakened it. Awakened it? But that's... Who are you people? The truth, if you would. Look, in all honesty, we barely know any more than you do. But the short version is... Well... I think you can use that power now. Uh, I think you may be right. The way it feels is... Well, this is magic, eh? I'd all but given up on it, but... Fate had other plans, it seems. Enough. We must move on. There is far to go, still. And lad, I follow your lead now, at least when it comes to how we use these skills in battle. We haven't the luxury of time to train with magic. Same here. You've clearly got a sense for this, and I'd rather make myself useful than muddle your strategies. Five days until the funeral. That's precious little time, and we'd best not waste it. Look! What's up?
I shall rise. Didn't think I had anything left to live. Look down. Victory well out. <laughs> nice. And that will find a use for that. <laughs> nice. Trust in me. Got 
Let's hit. All right. seen anything like it. It's a crystal of raw magma. This feels wrong somehow. Now I remember. They say in the lands beyond mortal reach, great spires of crystal stand, and anyone who might touch them is driven mad. That's all just superstition though, right? Still, this thing is giving off a really nasty aura. That's no ordinary monster. Some kind of human? The way it's moving... It's almost like it's... Protecting the crystal! Here it comes! Let's try this. The freedom of a wanderer. Seeker. Win. No need to run. I would hold back. Cut them right in their I shall. Spot. I shall vanquish right. evil. As always, Grius. I'll cut you down. The freedom of a wanderer. Let's try this. You hit their weakness. Me. Moving to the rear. This calls for one of these. Keep it Keep to the it rear guard. Distancing me! Crystallize! Help them right in, their in the name of justice, no holding back! They die hard! Let's stay calm. This should work. You hit their weakness! This, dear mate. Say so myself. Strive for greater heights. I admit, it feels one's training is never no complete. We are growing. What is this crystal? By my guess, the monsters were drawn to its aura. We shouldn't leave something so sinister just lying around. and answers, but there's no time to ponder them. We better move. You can't be serious. <laughs>
Vorsicht. Actually, made it out. And in one piece, no less. Speak for yourself. I think that shaved a couple years off my life. Damn storm. Can't afford too many delays, but we'll not be getting far in this torrent. We can make camp tonight and slip onto a carriage to the capital tomorrow, once we're out of the wastes. We'll have to. If we want to make it in time. Public carriage seems a bit risky, doesn't it? Not with all the outsiders flocking in for the funeral. We'll be three faces among hundreds. Lovely. Another carriage ride. Hopefully this one's smoother than the last couple. Let's just get our camp set up. Somewhere dry, preferably. This is so cozy. I feel alive again. It's certainly better than freezing. Reminds me of when I was a child. Back then, I wouldn't have been caught dead out in the wilderness like this. Countryside nobility like us had no fortune to speak of. My parents bowed and smiled for their money, and honestly, I despised them for it. Back then, I thought being a noble was about... I don't know. A life of prestige, being respected. But one spring seven years ago, our town was attacked by this horrific creature. A human, though I'd no idea at the time. I was evacuated alongside the servants while the rest of the town burned. I waited for my parents to join us in the shelter. But they would never come. Mm. The parents I'd so despised had stayed behind to protect the villagers who couldn't flee. Your parents were heroes. It changed everything. It 
taught me who my parents really were, what it really meant to be a noble. But our town's just rubble now, a footnote in history. The human that destroyed us is all we'll ever be known for. <sighs> I remember my father petitioning the capital for aid, but no reply came. Even knowing how much of a threat the humans were. Now, I think, what if the army... Well, Luis... What if he's the one who abandoned us? If we were just a pawn in his game, then... Then I will make him pay. <sighs> hey, Grius. We all trust each other now, don't we? I think we can tell him. Aye. Maybe you're right. I'll admit the lad's sword put me in mind of the past. Something special about that sword? Well, we used it to identify the messenger from our faction. But it originally belonged to his highness. A kingly gift from his father. To better suit his highness and his keen aptitude for magic, that blade was specially forged, with raw magla folded into the metal. Of course, when Swordplay bored him, he'd amuse himself by levitating it or standing atop it to glide about. <laughs> A royal rascal, that one. Those days were all too short. Then, twelve years ago, it all came crashing down. I've heard. The prince was attacked, right? There was a plot on his life. One I wish I'd rooted out sooner. Just like tonight, it was pouring rain. Your Highness, this way! Who led these blackguards into the palace? <laughs> His Highness survived the attack, but the curse hanging over him was powerful and complex. Of 
all the mage healers in the capital, not one could wake him. And he grew weaker with each passing day. We might lift the curse if we knew the specifics of its formula, but Luis would never give that up. Which leaves but one way. To dispel the curse, its caster must die. And you're sure Luis is the man you seek? I saw him in the fray. He was younger then. Younger even than you are now, and shorter besides. I could never mistake him. And now, after spilling the royal blood of father and son both, the people call him not traitor, but saviour for his highness. For the king, and for the very future of this country, he must be dealt with. To kill Luis is to see justice served. I see. So as he did with the prince, he would make of my city a stepping stone to further heights. A tool to spread the infamy of the humans. You haven't told that story to many, have you? Thank you for trusting me with it. A rogue never forgets a debt. Even if it takes three generations, we'd see it repaid. But neither do we forget a grudge. And Luis will know that soon enough. So, that's what all this is about. Say, friend, this mission means a lot to you too, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. You've been carrying a greater weight than I realized. In any case, I owe you my life and we've both got something we'd fight to protect. Let's save this country, together. Uh, ideally, once we're out of this cold, of course. I think it's about time we eat. We're almost to the capital, after all. I'd say that's worth celebrating. I'm beat. What now?